nice to be up when you can still see the moon and before people's lights have turned off, specifically the street lights. If you can get up before the street lights automatically flip off, that's like the perfect time. Like you wanna be on your walk while they flip over. Not too early, you don't want them on the whole time, but you don't wanna just not see them. That means you're too late. Can you see my breath? Yeah, you can. That's making me feel much better about wearing this puffy coat. But this is another reason to wake up early because in the afternoons, it's getting too hot these days. If you wake up early enough, you can actually convince yourself that it's still winter. Today's Groundhog Day. I don't think there's been a single year where I haven't hoped for more winter. I just feel like I never get my fix, you know? But I think that's because I live in locations where like, why would you get your fix? So I'm hoping for more winter. I don't know which one that is, if he sees a shadow or if he doesn't. It's Punxsutawney Phil! This Groundhog Day, an early spring is on the way! Our tangerine tree is in full bloom. It's never looked better. Here I was just eating the tangerines. I wasn't even thinking of doing anything else with said tangerines until I talked to my neighbor's girlfriend. And she not only made an olive oil cake with like tangerine and whatever, the next day I saw her and she was holding a glass of tangerine juice. She juiced the tangerines. Why the fuck am I not thinking of these things? You know, like why, why does it take seeing my neighbor's girlfriend using the tangerines to think, oh, you could actually do more than just eat them. You could like put them in things and squeeze them. So anyways, I wanna to try to make some tangerine juice. That's what I was getting at. Lately, I have been obsessed with lemonade. Like, I don't know what vitamin deficiency I have that makes me so obsessed with lemonade right now. I think it's like vitamin C or something. I have never consumed lemonade in this way in my entire life. I need a glass of lemonade every single day. Orange juice, lemonade. It's really all citrus, but it's specifically lemonade. Anyways, I do think that this might help with whatever vitamin deficiency I'm going through right now. Oh, that's really good. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this every day now. It would have been better if I just like didn't really like it that much, you know? But now I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to peel my tangerines and juice them every day. And then I'm gonna be even more depressed when they're all gone. Do they sell tangerine juice in stores? They must. Okay, so after tangerine season is over on this tree, maybe I can still buy it. Damn, what the fuck was I doing last year when this tree was in bloom? Why was I not? Why was I not making tangerine juice? I've actually been watching a lot of booktube, which I love, but booktube has this weird way of making me feel smarter than I actually am. I watch these girls talking about every book they read in 2023 and how they read a hundred books and how they've read all these series. And it has this weird way of making me feel as though I also read them when I literally didn't read any of them. And so I think I need to stop watching booktube and maybe pick up a book. So this book, I think I first heard about this book watching some video on YouTube. And then I looked up the audiobook to listen to it on Spotify, but I was out of hours on Spotify audiobooks, which is a different grievance that I have. This book is actually narrated by Meryl Streep because I think the premise is about, it's this mother telling her three daughters about her time, like dating this famous actor and being in this theater company. So it would feel as though Meryl Streep was your mom telling you about dating a famous actor. I think it would be kind of fun to listen to. But anyways, my mom got me the physical book for Christmas and I love this cover. It's about 300 pages, which is my ideal length for a book. A book that's 300 pages, a movie that's an hour and a half, like that is, that's the perfect amount. If I wrote a book or made a movie, that would be the timing. You feel stupid, man. Why do you feel stupid? Drop these homes, you can make some lemonade. 
Are you kidding me, Megan? Come here. My friend Caitlin from work, kind of like her lemon tree more so like exploded. And so she brought in kind of just like baskets upon baskets of lemons. And then I just kind of was like, well, I'll take three home. That is so nice, Megan. Wait, Sally, I have something else. Wow, I don't know what is up with me in citrus. Maybe my body, body is just aligned like with nature and like it knows it's <gasps> Costco cookies. Why do the boxes look smaller than they used to be? Okay, so the boxes, thank you, Sally Dar. The boxes are going to be smaller than they normally are in addition to being almost double the price that they were when we were young children. What the fuck? This is something I'm gonna show the camera first. I'll show the camera first. This is something that they don't want you to know about over at Girl Scout HQ. And this is gonna be Toffee Tastic, the gluten free cookie that's going to actually be completely delicious. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Megan, I'm not gonna take more than one from you, but I do need one to kind of, or it, that is very few, so if you just wanna give me a bite of one. So I know I'm happy to give you one. Okay. Just kind of like and just in. one. I won't really go beyond that. And which Girl Scout did you buy this from? I bought this from Adriana. Adriana, shout out. It is giving like biscotti texture. Mm -hmm. it's it's softer than biscotti because biscotti is fucking awful. That's really good, Megan. This with a cup of coffee or tea. Mm This is my bookmark. It says, may your stitches never drop and your yarn stash be plentiful. It's like the fucking nerdiest bookmark to have. This book to me is an example of like when you learn about your parents' lore. You go your whole life and you're like, oh, I know everything about my parents. But you don't think of like all of the people they might have dated or all of the places they might have went. You don't get every single detail, but because they're your mom or your dad, you're just like, oh yeah, like I know everything about them. And then one day they'll say something and they'll be like, oh, like I did X, Y, and Z. And you're like, wait, what the fuck? We live in the most boring town ever. How could you have possibly done anything cool with your life? This book is an example of that. One day they find out that their mom was involved with a famous actor and they're like wait what please give us every single detail that's insane i have a friend whose mom dated steve carell in college when you hear something like that you're like oh my god you're also forgetting that someone like steve carell or brad pitt those people who are now famous dated several people in their 20s and those women are just out there seeing them on tv thinking i dated him when i was 24. yeah we hooked up a few times my friend's mom dated steve carell in college and then my mom's friend from high school also dated Steve Carell in college. And then we tried to find out if her mom and my mom's friend knew each other and hated each other because they both dated Steve Carell. And it turns out that they didn't know who each other were. Regardless, okay, this is an example of finding out that your mom just like casually dated someone like Steve Carell. And you're like, what the fuck? I didn't date anyone famous in college, to my knowledge, unless they become famous later, but like, I don't think so. It is a very rainy day today. And it was infiltrating my dreams because I could hear the rain in my dreams. I was like in a kayak, but also in a car and like the streets were flooding and it was a whole thing. And it was because I could hear the rain all night. It's a perfect reading day. So I am going to go to my room because I did light a candle in there. So I should probably go back in there.
I finished my book and it's made me upset. My friends are going to a party tonight and I just like don't want to go. I don't want to go. I just feel too sad to go. Up until I finished that book, like I fully thought that I was going to this party tonight. But then after thinking about the book for a little bit longer, I can't. I can't. The thing is, no spoilers, obviously, that book, you know that the woman telling it, like, ends up with these three daughters and is married to a different man. Like, you know that from the beginning. Like, you know she doesn't end up with this actor. And you know that she's living on this farm in Michigan picking cherries. Like, you know that her life doesn't end up in Hollywood, being in movies, like, dating a famous actor. Like, but it's the journey to figuring out how she got there that's really fucking me up. Mentally, I'm on a farm in Michigan picking cherries, okay? Like, I'm not in Los Angeles. Really making me not want to go out in Los Angeles tonight. <laughs> And somehow we accidentally aligned this book with all of these people picking cherries like throughout this whole storytelling on a farm in Michigan with me also picking tangerines in my backyard, which was an accident. I don't know why we're all picking fruit. I don't want to go to this party in LA tonight. You know, I want to I want to be with my tangerines. Is that a crime? Obsessed with fruit in this video. I'm saying that as I am on my way to Target to buy more lemonade. Last time I was there, I bought like the skinny lemonade, you know, like the lemonade with fewer calories, the light lemonade. And as I was buying it, I was like, this is going to not taste good. This isn't going to taste that good. This isn't going to satisfy my craving. And I instantly regretted it. I am going to Target to get the correct kind of lemonade. I hope my friends aren't mad at me. I just can't do it tonight, y'all. <laughs> I just, I don't want to see anyone. I just want to drink lemonade in my room. Remember to grab your receipt. Thanks. See you again soon. That's why my phone hasn't been charging. Been unplugged all day. I can't stop playing this game called Family Island and I really need to delete it. I played it months ago. I don't know why I downloaded it. And then I deleted it because I was like, we don't need to be wasting our time this way. We could waste it another way. I don't even know how I found it. It was probably just like some random ad that popped up and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll download that. And I played it until I reached like level 10 or something. And then I deleted it. I cut myself off. It's one of those like farming games. You farm crops and then you have to like upgrade things and then you have to like like complete tasks and you get experience points and then you have to like feed your chickens and whatever. And then I re-downloaded it a few days ago and I need to get myself to delete it again. I don't know why I'm doing it because I just like wait for my energy to fill up again so I can start playing again. And I just feel like my entire day is controlled by the clock on this game. So I do need to delete it. Though not tonight because I need something to do tonight. My friends are going to a party tonight. When you run out of energy, sometimes you can find these treasure chests that you can watch an ad to get some energy. So right now I'm watching an ad so I can earn 30 points of energy, which I guess is how the app makes money, as well as if you spend money on energy, which I don't do. I have not spent any of my own money on this game. I don't spend my own money. I just spend time. I could be doing literally anything else to watch advertisements so I can get energy. Oh no, don't go to a party with your friends. Sit at home and play a farming game and drink lemonade. I'm out of energy again. What if I just like never, never went to a party ever again? Megan and I are throwing a Valentine's Day party. So, so that's not gonna happen. I, I'm literally hosting a party very soon. What if now? So what questions do you have for me? I don't like bananas. You have to ask me a question. <laughs> Come on, let's go over here. I mean, how the fuck are you gonna edit this?